Ah, there we go. Sorry, guys, it takes a little minute to, uh, oh my God, for me to get set up. Okay, so this is just a really impromptu periscope. Um, I went to, oh, hello, if, you, if you're if you a new follower or you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Diamond. I run the Sacred Woman Tribe. Um, you can go to my website, all the W's, jdiamond.net, that's J-A-Y. Um, you can find me on Facebook. I work with women primarily, but this talk is for anyone who will listen. Um, you can find me on Facebook, The Sacred Woman Tribe. Uh, what else? You should already be following me on Twitter, at Lady J Diamond. So this is an impromptu periscope. I'm going to cross my legs and get comfortable. About up-leveling. This is uh, about activating your gifts. Why, how, your natural passion, what that is why it's important, what stopped you. Um, so I was at an Aspire conference the last two days, which was amazing, with Dr. Sam Collins. And um, it was incredible. It was for trailblazing women, and they invited me on purpose. It was amazing. And uh, it was just incredible. I got so much out of it. And a lot of what was going on for me at that time was that I was being reminded I was really being reminded about who I am and where my passion lives and to really turn the volume up on that. And there was a lady who did a talk. Her name was um, Britta Schmidt. And she is the, um, I think, one of the directors at Women for Women, which is an incredible international organisation. And her talk inspired me so much and I wanted to, speak with you because my brain has been ticking so much and and um, I want to talk about you and your gifts how you can up level and perhaps how you've been blocking yourself now your gift your true God-given gift is the thing that comes easy to you that you're passionate about um, and there are other things that we can do and that we love to do, maybe they're not always as easy, they don't come as easy to us, we have to work harder at them, and sometimes we like that the working harder bit, yeah? But the it's what comes easy. Your gifts and what you're being called into action around is when you say, you know, the conversations you have, we say someone should do something about that, or... This is how they should do it. You know, it might be an organisation or a company that you see is very successful and you and you keep saying, I could do better than that myself. You know, this is what they need to do. This is how they need to do it. That is the place most likely where you're being called, the place where you're passionate, the place where you know you have something to offer. So my challenge to you is, Okay, this is what it is. How can you turn up the volume of your natural gift? And if you, if your gift has been quelled or your passion has been quelled, it's my belief that this is the time to turn the volume up. And let me explain what I mean. So, so for me... Personally, what in this conference, what I really saw is that even as a very young girl, I have been extremely passionate about women's rights in whichever capacity, about fairness for women, about women leading good lives, um, about human beings living happy, healthy and free, and in particular, women being treated fairly, being able to walk safely on this earth, um, of not being at risk of domestic violence um, or abuse or, you know, not having to walk home in packs at night, you know, just because they're a woman. Um, of being really indignant about how women are treated in the workplace, how women are treated at home, what the expectations are for women in society about what, you know, what makes a woman beautiful, how she should look, how she should be, how she should behave sexually how she should behave as a housewife or ha what kind of job that she's um, supposed to have and although many 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 barriers have been broken in the west especially 
you know, there are still many of those barriers in place, or they're more insidious, or there's there's um, undercurrents, you know, of these things. Um, and what I realised is that because of my outspokenness and sometimes my inability to express um, and my anger around some of these things, you know, my passion has scared people or has been rejected um, or has made people uncomfortable because they don't know what to do with it. They don't know what to do with me speaking, just speaking a truth, you know, I'm not trying to hit people in the face you know I'm not trying to hurt anyone I'm just trying to say hey this is wrong like this something needs to be done about that and it's not okay um, and that scares people sometimes so you might be in a position where you're in a company and they're going down the wrong track or um, the way your team is being managed is not benefiting your team and you know that and you can see it and you know there's a better way um, and this isn't about ego, this isn't about my way is the best way, this is about working together with people, but being really passionate about coming from a heart-centred place. This is what I'm really getting at. Your heart-centred mission, whatever that is, you know, you might be a musician and you, you try to express your music and you're constantly having to be put in a box. Like if you want to be really successful and reach a lot of people in the way you, that you want to, you know, you might have been told, well, you have to do this kind of music and this is what's popular. And, and, you know, and if you do get into that industry or now that you are in that industry, you're not allowed to talk about religion or politics. You're not allowed to talk about austerity because that might alienate some people and we need to make money. So if you can just shut up and put up and shut up, that would be fine. You get where I'm coming from. If you're watching this video, it is because you are being called through me to activate and up level directly whatever that means to you so wherever your passion has been turned down perhaps now's the time to turn it up that that fire in your belly whatever it is now is the time to offer your gift into the world and your gift is what brings you joy and will ultimately bring joy to others in your delivery of that and it's not about coming from an ego place of needing applause or needing accolade um, or needing people to love you and like you. It's about, this is really important to me. This could have a really positive impact on other people. Um, how could I do it? So I'm really calling you now to look into what that is. Where have you and why have you turned down the volume? You know, you might be and, and calling you to also, you know, really bust out stereotypes as, as well and and really start to release the fear of criticism. Because when you are a pioneer, when you are a trailblazer, when you're doing something different, of course, it's going to ruffle people's feathers. People are going to be very upset that you're making changes and there are going to be a lot of critics as well. And it's shit. But sometimes that's just the way it is and we can do it anyway. Um you know, as a trailblazer, you're going to come up against some opposition and that's when you have to really dig deep. And so the way to manage that is about having a circle around you, having a circle of people who, who are like-minded, who are ready to move forward. And this is not about bashing people out the way. You know, for me, creating change is about concentrating. This is important, yeah? Creating change is about concentrating on what you want, not what you don't want. And it's not that bad things don't happen. It's not that it's not being done in the wrong way. It's not that we ignore where people are being hurt, where people are being victimised, where people are being unfairly treated. It's that we put m masses more energy into the solution. It's that we put masses of more of our love, hope, dreams, prayers, intention into what it is that we want when we're constantly battling you know if you watch the secret if you know about the law of attraction mm. and you practice it you'll see that it works in your life when you're constantly complaining about something you will create more of it guaranteed you will get on the train and sit next to the person who is rude you'll go to work and have to work with the person who is rude you will 
walk down the street and go to the co-op and somehow find yourself in the queue next to the person that is rude because all you do and complain about is how rude people are, how rude society is, how life, you know, everything's going down the pan. And while some of that is true, it's only part of the story. There are many people doing many, many amazing things on this planet right now at this second and you can be one of them. I'm just totally heart riffing here again. Um, but I understand that life can talk you out of your purpose. Life can talk you out of your activation. And many times where our biggest fears are is where we're supposed to go. And what we're supposed to break. And what I mean by that is breaking fears, breaking barriers, breaking boundaries. And these are where our big fears are. Fears that we won't be financially sustained if we go after our dreams. Fears of criticism. Fears that our family... Um, won't like us, our friends won't like us, that we'll lose our job, um, you know, fears that we'll fail, that we'll put everything into it and fail. But my, my call to you is to really activate and to up level. You don't have to leave your job overnight. You don't have to know everything that you have to do going forward. All you have to do is take one step. All you have to do is move forward. And if you keep coming back to the place of, um, of love, of, of being in service, how can I be in service to other humans using my gifts, then things will start to move forward. And we're all, we all enjoy and we're all made for different things. You know, not all of us need to go to Bosnia or Kosovo and, and be in a war-torn situation and be a nurse there or, or work with women there or work with the men there. Um, not all of us need to work for the Red Cross. Some of us can can donate. Some of us can love our life as we have it and donate. Some of us can use our our corporate jobs to reach more people and make them aware of perhaps something that's happening just in my home, hometown of a charity that needs some support and galvanise people into just giving... £10 a month to support a local charity that looks after young people who've just left care or, um, you know, supports food banks. I mean, what the fuck? It's 2015. This is England and we have food banks. Are you crazy? So there are many, many ways in which you can help. And I, I'm calling you to listen to your passion, whatever that is, because what the world needs right now really is not more famous people. And if you happen to become very well known because of what you're doing, that's great. What the world really needs right now is love, authenticity and loving action. That is what the world needs. And if your business can really assist other people in their mission, then what you need to know is that we all work together. Yeah. So I, you know, again, I don't have to be on the front line of a charity working there day in and day out if that is not my passion. It's someone else's passion. Let me enable them. So with my work, you know, I may enable you to bust your fears, to bust through your limitations so that you can go bigger, so that you can reach more people or so that you can work more directly or so that you can receive the money that you deserve for your services. Yeah. Um, or so that you can be the dad that you want to be. And it's like we create change in many different ways. You you can do it in your embodiment of who you are and who you choose to be as a human on this planet. You have no idea how many people that you influence and inspire on a daily basis just by being who you are, just by the type of dad that you are, the type of mum that you are the way you are with your children and not just influencing your kids but the way people see how you parent and how you manage your stress of that yeah how you manage your relationship you can be an embodiment of conscious loving relationship and that inspires other people to have conscious loving relationships you don't have to run around and do anything special 
all you have to do is tune into the, the highest vibrational level of who you are and keep choosing in that direction. Does that make sense? I'm trying to feel what wants to come out. You can be in your business and be the most high level authentic businesswoman that you can be in a company that is not necessarily very authentic. Does that make sense? And your vibration of you will expand outwards. But it can only do that if you continually choose to move in that direction. And I understand that it's difficult sometimes. And I understand that there are fears around that sometimes. And I understand that you can still keep choosing in that direction. That even when you wobble and you falter and you make a mistake, that mistakes are being part of human and you can still move forward. Does that make sense? Um, I was with some amazing, absolutely amazing women this weekend, you know, that really showed me that just your beingness can be what inspires another person to take a massive action. You may be called to really assist your community. Um, you know, you may be called to work at home and abroad. Um, if your calling is to call out injustice, then do that and, and galvanise the people around you to assist you. And yes, we are all human. We are all one human race. And yes, we are all connected. And at a soul vibrational level, we're, we're all the same. We're all really part of one whole. And we've come here to express differently. And, you know, the, the meat suit that we've been born into the particular family that we've been born into, the particular monetary situation that we've, we've been born into, you know, all a part of our individual life experience. Um, it doesn't have to define everything that we are and there are some real life issues and divisions that come with being, you know, the only black woman in a particular workplace, the only hijabi wearing woman in a particular workplace, you know, um, those things are some things that need dealing with. In the sense that your beingness, who you are, is inspiring other people, other women, other men. So don't underestimate how powerful you are, is what I'm saying. Don't underestimate your power to inspire other people to be great. Um, if your calling is to assist your community and be vocal, then do it. Um, don't turn the volume off on your calling, is what I'm saying. You can manage and communicate in different ways so that different people can hear it better. But don't turn it off. Be true to your calling. Because the world needs it. The world really, really, really needs it right now. The world really needs you to tune into that passion. That sense of injustice. That call that tells you this is wrong. And something needs to be done about it. And I can stand shoulder to shoulder with whoever wants to stand shoulder to shoulder to me. You know, my work is primarily with women. And that doesn't that doesn't mean I'm anti men and I get asked this question, why why do you only work with women? You know, why not men? And you know, it's some guys get really indignant about it and really pissed off. Well there's plenty of organizations that work with men and women or just work with men you know you are entitled to a man's circle you are entitled to a spiritual group that works with you the masculine and to develop that and love that and and own that and have it and i am entitled to do this work with women because we have our own issues our own calling um our own things to be dealt with in this world as women. Um, 
And that doesn't mean I'm anti-man at all. In fact, I love men deeply. And I really pray for the upliftment of, upliftment of all of our men um, to really come into their highest selves. And it's starting to happen. And the world is a bit batshit crazy right now. So we really have to tune into what is true for us. You know, what is your calling and do it. And some people won't like it and that's all right. And some people won't understand it and that's all right. And some people will say, well, why are you doing this and not that? That's all right. You just really have to stay true to what your calling is. All right. If you have any questions... You know where to find me, at Lady J Diamond, the Sacred Woman Tribe. I really hope this encourages you to be strong and to turn the volume back up on your passion again. Okay. I'm J Diamond. You can find me uh my website, jdiamond.net. Tweet me, at Lady J Diamond.